This is Leaders and Intellectual Business Community. We continue to the last segment of our discussion today. From regional star to the global leader, we, which is taken from Harvard Business Review, January 2009. And still with us, Alex Ibarat, the CEO of Goodyear Indonesia. We're still talking about how the cultural things affect uh, Alex in his positions and also when he raised to this position. And uh, we have a question from the audience. Pak Shonanto, please. Yeah, I would like to raise a question related to culture. Uh, most people say that Indonesian worker productivity is relatively low compared to other countries. So my question, what do you think about the Gucci uh, Indonesia worker uh, and compared to other uh, Gucci in other country? What is the position and how do you measure the productivity over there? Uh, the second, after you took over the position as the CEO, is there any special program to improve the productivity through maybe a uh, culture uh, related activity or what? Thank you. Okay, so Pastor Yonanto's question is that uh, is actually is there any cultural productivity differences between Indonesia workers and the other countries that you may see because you are in a position of you know able to compare between countries. And uh, if there's any, any do, do you take any special program to address that? Well, honestly, yes. Uh, there's always uh, differences, uh, unit productivity, so output per associate hourly, we call it O-P-A-H, mm -hmm. OPA. Uh, between the factory here and the factory in uh, Dalian, we have a factory in Dalian, China, and also in uh, Thailand and in, uh, in uh, Malaysia. Uh, but obviously that we also make an effort that well yes honestly the productivity is lower a bit because of the you know the habits of the people well I, I would say that uh, nowadays that the, the making tires uh, getting more complex uh, because that uh, you know maybe in the last times that it's a very simple machine now getting more automations uh, high-tech machines so obviously that if the guys uh, never prepared to do all this kind of stuff it takes more longer time. That's why if you divide it by hour, of course the productivity is lower because it takes longer. But still, uh, in uh, Bogor, that uh, we had a facilities that actually one of the uh, lowest uh, 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 lowest uh, no 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 lowest cost in the entire good world, uh, good Goodyear factory uh -huh. worldwide. So. Uh, this is the one that we always keep our things uh, very consistent. Uh -huh. uh, the lower cost because of the lower labor cost, uh, because of the productivity, uh, or because of the automations. There are a lot of you okay. Know, the factors, lower yeah. cost is also functions of the uh, many that what you described uh -huh. that you know because lower cost and also the output tonnage. We yeah. call it the tonnage. Yeah. So uh, our factories operate twenty four seven, almost three hundred. 55 days outside the, yeah. the Baran times and any Muslim holidays. Other than that, it's all working. So you can imagine that the activities and uh, that's why in the equations of the tire factories, the economic of scale is very important. Okay, It's not because of the people are more productive, right? Uh, well, I, I guess that uh, we are keeping the uh, employment constants, mm -hmm. but what I know that the output in tonnage is increase mm -hmm. whether the increase is relatively compared to the other locations uh, now that's subject to debate all right but what i know is increase okay so alex you now belong to a multinational you so you have uh, let's say multinational passport because of your uh, company but still you're holding actually the real passport is indonesian passport right yes okay so you're still indonesian yes so what do you think about nationality then what what this your uh, interpretation of nationality uh, how do you carry on your nationalism in this working for the uh, multinationals uh, i think that you know when it comes to professional work that nationality matter less yeah, because it doesn't really matter that as i said again in uh, multinationals that we can put someone else here a filipino or indian doesn't really matter Likewise, that uh, you know, Goodyear other other location maybe will have some Indonesians or 
whatever it is because we operate at the principles that uh-huh. we hire the best available mm. in related to the experience mm-hmm. so I don't know whether in doing a job that in man- nationality matters mm-hmm. perhaps but uh, is there anything that you want because uh, because you are Indonesian you want to do something uh, you know everybody they have their own self-interest and there's nothing wrong with that if I'm an Indonesian working for multinationals I'm thinking of how to get the more and more share of these multinationals uh, you know shifting to Indonesia for example I don't know whether you have uh, such a kind oh, of uh, yeah. you know drive or not uh, yeah I think I did my part that uh, last year we expand the factories we invest uh, 50 million dollars so you know if uh, by the, any normal conventions that maybe the US executive in the US will probably will not put the money where actually you have a lot of bomb case in Indonesia mm-hmm. but we told them that actually you know, well, that's actually a nine thing got to do with us in Bogor and uh, there's, there's a one-off case and I think that we are producing tire normal uh, even though there are a lot of uh, things happening in Jakarta at that time So well, that that's so all. Your factory is uh, supplying only for Indonesian market, or for only? No, we export to the 60 uh, countries uh, 60 worldwide. Countries. Yes. So, but do you import also from other countries? Uh, very, very, very little. It's so only one percent. So actually, this is the things that uh, uh, I mean. Maybe people will say that Bogor was famous because of us, because we export the Bogor made factories I everywhere. I see. And uh, this is one of the few industry that still. Uh, Uh, can export uh-huh. right because that uh, you know now is getting tougher and uh, the textile so will, will, will you do the same if you are posted in Philippines for example do what will you do the same that you will drag the investment to Philippines or well you? no not really because nowadays that uh, manufacturing is that unique economic of scale in fact uh-huh. we just closed down our Philippine factories uh-huh. because there is no, no because of this nationality you know tendency it's not because of the uh, business calculations but rather than because of I'm Indo- I'm Indonesian while I- if if I'm promoted to Thailand I will still think of how to you know shift all this uh, factories to Indonesia rather than to to Thailand I guess that nowadays consumer consumer doesn't care that where the tire made as long as that is good quality tires and yeah, uh, for, affordable for for you yourself I mean for for your for your preference of actions Will you do that because you are Indonesian? Then you are trying to, you know, as much as possible. I, you know, try to promote Indonesia, even though I'm posted in the foreign countries. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you know, um, Bo- my tire, Bogor tire, is one of the cheapest tires. So why not? Uh huh. Right. So before everybody else uh, have the promotions, I already put the, you know, the little logo that. Uh, I love Indonesian product in uh-huh. every of my advertisements. So All I right. ask my people to put that before they make it popular recently. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. because we felt proud because uh, nowadays, which of the Indonesian product can compete overseas? Uh-huh. I okay. think we import more than we export. All other right. than the coal, the oil, the commodities. I see. I see. Okay, Alex. Because of the time, we have to conclude our discussions today. Uh, so business leaders and intellectual business community we today we discuss about the challenges of an, a local people to climb up for the positions in a multinational company and uh, we suspected before that there was a there will be a problem in cultural backgrounds that uh, will uh, be a hurdle in the way of going up in the multinational companies but apparently in the good year this issue is not existent because of their uh, experience in Indonesia so many uh, years already and also maybe part of it this is a uh, subjective evaluation because the the person we are uh, discussing with uh, Alex is uh, well prepared because he was uh, foreign educated yeah, so he was he's, he's used to deal with the uh, way of this multinational uh, approaches and uh, it might not be applicable to those who has never been say uh, going abroad for uh, taking educations or working abroad uh, there might be uh, some 
cultural uh, disconnections between the people and uh, the way multinational works. Uh, but uh, in this case, we don't see that because uh, of uh, many, many uh, reasons that we have mentioned. And uh, we also see from our discussions that uh, uh, in the global terms, in the now, we see that uh, people don't clearly put the nationalism in the, what do we call it, in, a, in a, that perspective that you uh, really differentiate your country with other countries because uh, then we'll see that uh, in the global world people uh, yes, uh, also feel that they are uh, the global citizens so the nationalism of people also is not lessening but maybe taking a, a new form of uh, nationalism <laughs> uh, and uh, that's the fact that we have to, to see uh, in, the, in this uh, current situations and it might apply to you and to me as well and uh, to many people especially the, the, the young people who are uh, offer overseas graduated and working for multinationals and uh, that's why also maybe this kind of people will also have a different view from the traditionalist nationalist people who are moving up the ladder in the local companies with the local cultures and still uh, very much uh, thinking of uh, uh, Indonesian as a, a special part of the world that they have to, you know, specially put attention. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the reality that we have to, to see. There's nothing wrong, there's nothing right about this. That's the trend. Uh, so, uh, intellectual business community and business leaders, this is the conclusion of our discussion today. Thank you for watching this program. We'll see each other in the next CEO reference program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.